Hi everyone and welcome to Pen of the Week, uh, a series where I show a pen and ink combination that I'm excited about using this week. Last week I was using uh, the Jinhao 159, uh, which is one of their big hefty old metal pens, uh, with a steel Gule uh, Yovo Broad nib, and had that inked with Krishna Inks Monsoon Sky. Awesome ink, fabulous. In fact, I ran this pen dry in days. It just it was, look, you know, you can see it's, it lays down a beautiful, big, broad line. It just, I just worked through it. I just loved writing with it. It feels great in the hand. It writes so well. That pen size with that nib, gold, amazing. This week, I have my Pelican M805. So going from, you know, sort of an affordable uh, Chinese pen to a slightly less affordable uh, pen here uh, from Pelican. The M805, which is this beauty here. And now I'm using this with Diamine Oxford Blue. Now this ink used to be exclusively used in my Visconti Homo Sapiens, but after having used the, Vis the Homo Sapiens as my writing pen for a lot of weeks, I've decided that I actually want to get a fine nib on it. I had a medium, so I am looking for a fine nib. If you happen to have one that you don't want, that you want to maybe pass on at a reasonable price, get in touch and let's see. Uh, but yeah, I, a fine nib for that Visconti Homo Sapiens, not the extra fine, the extra fine is just a bit fine. The fine, I think, feels about right. Anyway, that's beside the point. Let's talk about this ink, this uh, combination for this week. Uh, so, Diamond Oxid Blue in the Pelican uh, M805. Now, it comes in multiple sizes as well as cartridges, this ink. It's lovely. Um, I have it just in the 18 mil bottle as well, which, um, you know, I think is a really nice bottle. Uh, and Diamond inks are great. I love them. Firstly, this pen though. The size of this pen is great. Now, just alongside a Lamy Safari for size comparison, like you can see it's just slightly, slightly bigger. Um, and you do notice that in the hand, particularly with the grip section where it's just a little bit, you know, a little bit wider, um, but it fits so on the hand, it's got such a lovely size. Um, it's a generous medium, like that's quite a, quite a thick medium line, which is what I like, not for an everyday writer, uh, like the Visconti, which is a fire hose as well, uh, but like for sort of more, pronounced writing, which is what I've been doing a bit recently. Let's talk about build quality. So firstly, just listen. Those threads are just beautiful. This pen is made to an exquisite standard. Um, no one will ever deny the quality of the make of these Pelican pens. Just beautiful. And I won't operate it because there's ink in there, but the piston, one of the smoothest you'll ever, ever feel. Just amazing. Now this ink, this is a rich dark blue. I think it almost verges at times on a blue black if it's in a pen like this. It's certainly blacker than a lot of blue blacks, say pilot blue black for example. It's got some interesting red sheen if that's your thing. Um, the ink is affordable. These inks are not expensive. You can buy the small bottle for around $10 or the larger bottle for around $25, uh, which that's Australian money. But if you're buying them in the UK or parts of Europe or the US, they are really, really affordable. It's fabulous. Like, they are great great inks. What also I love about this ink is the shading. Now you can see, I'll show it close up here, some of the shading of this ink, it's just so lovely. It's got this sort of depth to it and then these little moments that sort of pop out which make this ink just so special. There's a reason this was on my top five list last year. Okay, so let's continue, let's do a little writing sample, let's continue through um, Dracula by Bram Stoker. Um, so we've got, yeah, Dracula. Um, Stoker. And this is where we left off. Okay, so you can uh, see and hear there that uh, this pen is pretty smooth. Like, it's, there's a bit of feedback on it, but it's certainly not scratchy at all. It lays down a beautiful l patch of ink, and uh, you know, I would not call that a dry pen by any stretch either. So this pen, you, you do pay a lot of money for a pen like this. Like, they are not cheap by any stretch. 
But I think you get a pen that is worth the money. And uh, I think you certainly get, um, you know, a, a great writing experience. And with an ink like the Oxford Blue here, what more could you ask for? Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I can see now that the shadows are coming in nice and <laughs> strong as the sun's come out. That's actually nice. Um, yeah, so... You, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, if you do, give, you know, give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe and all of that sort of stuff. Hit the notifications button. All of those sorts of things. Um, you know, if you've got questions, get in touch. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me. Or you can email me or message me on any of these videos. Um, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. If there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens. Enjoy your ink. And I'll talk to you later.